Hello and welcome. Yeah, I have just checked. I have actually got a um, cultivator. Sorry, it's a question. Marty uh, spoke to me and said the reason you're getting weeds is, uh, or the reason you're not getting weeds is because you used a plow, not on one of the other Let's Plays. I checked on this because we'd used what I considered a plow. It wasn't a plow at all. It was a cultivator. I've just double checked. So that is the reason, and that is quite unbelievable because I didn't realise that was a thing. Yeah, whether it wasn't in FS19 or whether it's always been like that. So that is a fantastic thing to learn. It was me thinking it was a random thing. Right, we're going to buy some more. I'm going to fill this because we, we've got quite a lot of um, this to do, I think. Yeah, I've done some sculpting. I would like your opinion on this. Do you prefer... I see, I'm... I'm trying different things on different Let's Plays to see what, whether people prefer me to uh, preserve the magic and do alterations off camera or whether they... I've always wanted to keep you involved where I uh, do it and show you that I'm doing it. I, I've always thought that it, it, it means it's you're more of an integral but then some people like realism. A, a lot of um, viewers and again you don't know what the cut is, is it? So are you pleasing people more by showing them things or displeasing them more by doing things in the background? So I have done some alterations. I've thought quite a lot about this. Because they've got into the fertiliser business, now normally the BGA and the slurry yard go hand in hand. Now we have done that, we have included that, but now we've got the fertiliser plants. Our model has changed somewhat. And I've obviously been wanting to put a silo in that area and I thought, I've thought for a few times, that's where the money's changed a little. I've sold the slurry yard but put a silo in where the slurry yard was because of course it was nice and flat as well. Because truthfully we haven't used the slurry yard for quite a while so I thought it makes more sense to actually sort of do that than it does to carry on with this model that we used to work, used at the beginning but now we've changed. So we have this silo which I like, it's also got a little bit of a shed. I think it's an ultifruit. Think it, it's it says that you can put all stuff in it, but yeah, not not exactly in those words. I'm really not sure. It has got this fantastic shell as well, so it's sort of like a two birds one stone. I think it was twenty thousand, so it's not bad at all. And its storage is, is it a mil, so five and a half mil. So it really is fantastic. All right now, we no, we're not we're not going to put that under there. We want this. We do. We want to stick and go on to the new field and set this going. Yeah, I've looked on um, a few different let's plays, and, and actually, you don't really need to. Yeah, when you're trying to build the boats or build the uh, roller coaster, all you need to do is stand on them a bit like the yeah. The field info basically tells you what you need. So, I was making that into a much more of a difficult task than it needed to be. So I'm going to see, I would imagine it's going to be expensive. So what I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to stop, the, I'm going to set this going and then I'm going to stop the camera's recording for a minute whilst we go and look to see how much it is for me to buy at least like, uh, it's like in stages. Uh, I'm thinking the biggest one is the roller coaster. That's going to be the expensive one. Uh -huh, I've left myself a message. Yes, very good. So do we set them both going? Yeah, I did notice last time I was on because I actually started there and I came on and looked and it says weed grown and also pH value, which of course is exactly why we've got the torpedo with that fantastic contraption there. Uh, now you can see it's not quite level, so it's leaning a little heavier, which will eventually change. Now did I... Yes, I did. I can see it to the right. I can see the shadows. The only thing you can't turn your... Right, yep, smash it. Let's alter that. We don't want any of that. None. We'll go. Now, let's make sure you're on auto. You are... Ooh, okay. That's that's a bit... Ah, no, no. This is cosplay going wrong with this as well. I thought it would have been... Right, it doesn't understand. I'm going to have to tab. That's the only way you can get out of it. And it, it course plays so well, but I cannot get out of my tractor presently. I'm glad you've seen this. Now, you can normally get out of it, but it, it course plays thrashes it, and you cannot do anything other than tab. And then eventually, you can jump out of a tractor. 
if it follows the pattern. You can see the funny on the graphics. Apologise for this. Yeah, it won't let me out. Ah. Eventually it does stop. Or oh, it has done in all the other times that I've actually tried to do this. Alright, oh, it's not letting me out still. No. Oh, I'm hoping this actually settles down. If not, I'll have to end the game and reload it. We've not all we've done is bought herbicide, so it's not the end of the world. Alright, let's see if we can. No, it's not letting me back in now. No, it's not. Right, okay. I shall uh, stop recording. This is not the, how I wanted the session to go. And we shall try this again. See you shortly. Right, we'll try that again. Yeah, I've uh, sent that off, got the herbicide, retract everything, and I thought we're going to need some more lime and fertilizer on the edge of the field if we're doing that. So I thought, while we're here, let's just grab some of this and stick it on the trailer and send that down to the field. It makes far more sense than, yeah, not. So... I am also very, very much liking these bags in almost every level. The lime especially, eight ton bags is absolutely astronomically fantastic. It really is. Not so sure about that. The um, yeah, I thought it was a good idea, but it keeps crashing the game. Uh, that's the first time it's properly crashed it. I have so far been able to fix it, but then that means you you can't if you use something like course play, it's not course course play friendly. Whether I'm sure that will be fixed in time, but I might prepare to wait when core space is one of your right hand things not so much not really no it's uh, it sort of overdoes it I think it's probably better yeah it is a pass through as well which makes it awkward it is um, when you put it down on the floor because it's so thin it is a tendency a bit like any of the thin bladey type things it has that tendency to fall over so yeah it's Yeah, I had quite a bit of trouble with it on Rombos yesterday, so that's a cracking idea, it's stability. It's got to be put on a block or something like that for it to be um, practical. And also, obviously, for me personally, got to be caused by friends, so it is something that's not quite ready in my personal opinion, yeah, at present, which is a shame, but it, it is what it is, right, fantastic. So they're on the field edge. Let's just grab, I think that is enough of the line. Let's grab the... One is uh, seeds, one is fertilizer. We grab the fertilizer. Seeds, we, we don't need over there. And also, I suppose we could grab the, the rest of the herbicide because at least we top up whilst we're there. Yeah, it makes sense to me. I know it's not full or anything like that, but that doesn't really matter. In fact, let's stick, let's stick it all on. At least it's tidy then. And the shop front is tidy, which yeah, I'm quite sure the shop would be uh, glad that that is the case. So then let's just strap that because I don't want that falling off. It's a bit, it's a bit squirmy already. So right, last set of little ones, and then we'll grab the one on the other side, which I can see the seeds. We'll, we'll come and grab those. Uh, yeah, we'll grab it with the thing, the actual seeder. It's, it's planter, really, isn't it? When you think about it, what, what it is. Now you can get them slightly off. I was going to say, I was talking about this yesterday. I like the way, but it doesn't allow you to do it full blown, or does it? Maybe, maybe it's me that's got the wrong end of the stick on that. I do like to find out the proper way to do things. I know with these, you do have to, to let go of them. You have to have it at an angle like that for it to actually fall off. And then you've got to pull it back so that you don't get that attach. And then it'll let go of that one as well. So let's grab that last one. Those. I think what would be here. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Why don't we take the mountain to Mohammed rather than Mohammed to the mountain? We take those to the planter, stick them in, and eject them for seeds. Yeah, and at least I didn't cheat and buy an extra. I've only bought an extra one and we needed it, so I, I don't mind doing that. Yeah, I know it's Mr. Supedals, that's how tricky it is. Well, he's what he taught me, really. 
it is clever it is but i don't like to abuse it we did need it and we did need that amount we just got that as extra so that to me is yeah now then that's spot on right let's grab yeah we will i'm just going to grab that and i shall send the telehandler do i get it and follow and drop it off at the end of this yeah that's not a bad idea so we need to grab you. See, there's only it's not even a full one, so I don't really feel guilty about that. Not even slightly. If I'd have gone the other way and we'd have had like um, three tons, that wouldn't be again. It's only a little. It's not. A, and you could do it legitimately. I could, with really cheap seeds, actually do that and keep doing it. It's, and it is a. It's not a cheat, as I keep saying, it is a game and there are a set of mechanics, so, but I don't feel comfortable in doing it, so yeah, I'm not going to do it. Right now, then let's strap that properly, and we're going to follow, we'll drop that off the telehandler down here. Yes, I'm trying to get into, well, obviously our money is down again though, because we've spent the fortune that was really low, and now it's back up to 156,000. Well, we did buy the field, if you remember, we were up to quite a lot. Oh, no, we're racing off, and he is not that fast. Yes, we're going to go past this way, and then uh, let him go on the edge of our fields. And then we're going to crack onto the other field, and we're going to get cracking with some work. Now, I've not been on Silver Run for a few days, because... Obviously, I've had a lot. I did have a lot of episodes to upload, so I thought let's just upload those because you still get silver on episodes. But now I'm literally out. I uploaded my last episode, and yeah, in fact, I'm fairly current with both Riverside and Romboz. I think I've uploading yeah the, all of my uh, sessions. I've uploaded a lot today, so I think we're current. So I'm going to have to produce episodes to actually uh, put them up now. Whoa. Yeah. I hope we won't need any more of this. But oh, right, okay, not bad. Oh, I'm so glad seeds don't spill out of boxes. And I know it's not ultra realistic. You know, I mean, it is really. It would, but it's a mechanic that I'm quite grateful that giants haven't instigated so far and now the box is not three dimensional yet yeah, because you're actually pushing it that's it that's that's not bad right let's leave you there right let's pop to the field and we're going to get that spray and dawn fertilizer and i will have to manually line yeah i'm seriously considering whether or not i did say when i uh, loaded it i hadn't seen it that mod the um, pass through lime bag holder uh, and I wasn't sure how new it was. This makes me feel that it's quite new because I'm quite sure that that type of uh, error would have been reported by almost all course play users instantly, truthfully. Yeah, so let's stick this on here. And it, it makes it quite awkward if I'm going to have to do the... Although it is better in a way because at least if I'm doing this... I mean, no, we'll leave it strapped. You can still get the um, indicator off. Yes, if I do it, at least I can dodge the uh, <laughs> dodge the herbicide. Right, so yes, Marty, thanks a lot for that information about the plough. I shall, yeah, I didn't realise. I thought the randomness of the way that the plough was working, or no, I didn't. I never cottoned on at all. I, I've got to be totally honest. Really didn't. Right, so create job. Uh, have I already done this? Uh. 42, isn't it? Uh, field 1, field 2. They're the ones I made. 41, new arable. Oh, no. So that one's got to be this one then. It is. Right. Fantastic. So 41 is what we're looking for. No, I haven't created one. Fantastic. I have got that. We know that I've done the other one. We just saw that I've got it ready. Right. Let's do this then. Field. Oh, no. You've already got me. Fantastic. And open and two headlands. Maybe it is large. We'll try it. Mm, yeah, fantastic. So forty-one 
can save course, activate 33 meters. It shouldn't take too long for that to do that. And go. We are going to hopefully not thrash the game. I'm going to save it at this point. So I apologize for dragging you through this, but I'm just not willing to, yeah, have this crash and burn. It's only ever burnt when when you do a worker so I, I don't think I think I'm gonna be alright are we in auto oh yeah let's get out of here boom away and I think we're gonna go the opposite way to you so we don't get in your way yeah, we have auto fantastic now oh, that bag is looking rather awful Yes, I just want to get all these jobs. Oh my life. It looks like a demon possessed living plastic. <laughs> it's like something out of Doctor Who or. Yeah, that is definitely very strange. That's nuts. Yeah, it, the, the lag factor on this is quite amazing. You, it's sort of like is a long way behind you, and then it updates. It's also like when you jump on the field, and it gives you the fact that it says weeding, and then whoa, whoa, whoa! So I apologise for that. Skidded. Yeah, that was not me being Larry. Well, it was. I, I suppose I should have. <laughs> what did I say? I'm going to go the opposite way. Well, it's fairly obvious you're going to meet them head on if that's what you're going to do. So, oh, is that got the? Is that doing spot weeding then? I didn't think we bought that. Oh, well, that's intriguing. I didn't realise that we bought spot weeding. If that's what it's doing there, you can see the little spots where it's actually only weeding where the weeds will go, which is quite amazing because I didn't think we'd bought that. Unless I got it with the... Did I buy that? I thought I bought it new. Or maybe I did buy it. Yeah, it is a good feature. It's just it's always about 40000 which So it's yeah usually out of my price range, not because I don't want to do it. Let's forget the spread on these are amazing. Only 42 meters. Wow. So it's not that it wasn't going green. It was that that was that's the max you can have for that kind of uh, soil type. Wow. Well, that should be done then. And I don't. I mean, it's not going to take the spray that long. It's only a few meters less than this. So. Yes, I've been looking forward to this. What I'm going to do next is we should once we've done the field work, I'm going to pop and have a look to see. Oh, what on earth? I've seen that before, but not just randomly like that. Wow. Oh, and it glitched the thing that oh, I remember it doing it on Riverside. It literally glitched and it'll throw this. So, do you know something? Let's drop that off. Oh, it won't let me. It's crashed and burned. It's going to throw it. This tractor will disappear, as will the WMXL, for a couple of episodes. If I don't get this gone. Right, let's drop you, because you're also... Oh, now that worked. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah, I, I ignored it once on Riverside, and the next session I lost the wheel loader for about three episodes, and it landed finally at the shop. Three episodes. Yeah, it was the third episode later. It, didn't, it wasn't even the next episode as it normally was, so that's how bad a crash it is. Right, so we shall... Um, shall we go and see? Let's go and have a look. While that's busy doing that, I shall bring you with you, so you've got an idea of the costs we want... Right, the flooring factory is one that we do need. So let's go and have a look to see how much now. But I am going to switch zone markers on because obviously uh, these new things, I have no idea where giants have put the um, on-offs and all that type of stuff. So we need to buy. That is a point. You, you don't buy them directly, do you, from here? You, you'd have to buy them from a sell point. 
Oh, wow. You, you cannot buy from them, can you, thinking about it? Unless, of course, you can sell stuff to them that you can't buy, can you? Or can you? I didn't think you could. I thought you'd have to buy it from, like, a, a, a buy point. Well, we have got one, so let's go and have a look. How? In fact, yeah, we don't even need to do that. I am being silly. Oh, yeah, I was complicating it. Let's have a look. No, we're not not that. We need to have a look at prices, and we can. I think we can probably sell everything. Probably, can we buy from that? Is it or is it just? I'm not sure. I've only ever sold at it. Oh, of course, we've got Mudford Fire Station. My bad. Yeah, I'd forgotten we placed that for what we'd done. Right, so let's have a look. Ah, we've got uh, quite a lot of manure in, so we want. We do need to go and get some metal. Oh, do we? Can we buy that? Yeah, we can. I remember seeing it. Floor tiles. Three we need. Let me just open it on my other laptop, my upload laptop. We need. Right, we're going to go on the roller coaster first because I think that's got lots more stages than the boat builds. The boat builds going to be quicker. But looking at this, that is three thousand. Yeah, three thousand four hundred. So about say four grand tops, and we need floor tiles. 200 litres, so that isn't going to cost us a lot. We'll, we'll actually have way more than we should have, which we also need for the uh, boat build. So that's going to be useful. Metal is expensive, as you'd expect. And we need 480 litres for the stage one of the roller coaster. And almost two tonnes from the boat build. So there's quite a lot of that. Now then we need... Let's have a look. Planks long. Uh, so it's all pretty much of a muchness. If you said 5,000 per ton, we could actually do it. So I think we ought to. I know 156,000 isn't a lot, but I'm not worried. I think we should do that. What I'm going to do though is I'm not going to boil to tears and drag you everywhere with me. But I do like to show you me doing it though. I do. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to stop the cameras for a minute. I'm quite sure that the uh, sprayer has finished shortly. We are going to go grab... Oh, just take the lorry over there. Seriously? <laughs> now we're going to bring it back? Oh, right, yeah. That's, it, it is annoying. Oh, we, we need to uh, fertilise as well. That's Yeah, we do actually. Forget it. Well, we'll do. I think we'll dedicate a session to it, and I'll be a bit more prepared. I mean, I did start to. I have done all of the le looking into it uh, side of things, but yeah, I think we'll just dedicate a session to it. The beginning of a session, because I don't think it's going to take us an entire session to do. But yeah, if we can uh, get cracking on that, I would be uh, happy. Right, spray it is indeed finished. I didn't see the message, but then I was passing around, so. Right, so then, weeding, done. And it, yeah, it didn't actually show us that it was done. Oh, do you know? So yeah, that is actually causing quite a few glitches as we saw. And again, I think it is the mod itself, because I've seen that with other things. I have seen that one that the actual bags themselves are a little bit prone to that. Uh, I say I saw it with the uh, wheel loader, so that was nothing to do with that particular mod for that. Loving the colour of that. That is absolutely amazing. Silver. That is fantastic. Right, let's try this again. And we need to eject the lime. And we need to be on the other side. And then we need to get some fertiliser. Which I, I don't think I'm going to be able to isolate that all off the thing. I'll be filling with lime because there's loads and loads of lime on it. I was quite surprised by that. I thought we'd use an awful lot more lime, actually. I mean, we've used part of an eight... eight yeah, that's a point. We can actually see. It will tell you how much is left in that bag. Oh, but, uh, no, it's three, almost three and a half tonnes. So that, actually, I've got to be honest, was not bad. I really expected to use far more than that. On a first time for a field like this, it usually absolutely destroys it. It's usually like 28 tons or something daft. 
So yeah, I don't understand what, what that's about, but I'm happy. We did do auto, so it's certainly not like it's that. Ah. Do we push it with our wheels? It's not the best push, but it, it does work. Oh, we can't leave them on there, can we? Because once we start getting grow stages and we have to harvest, it does cause issues. Oh, it doesn't like being pushed with your wheels, though. Let's see, can we uh, nudge it with the weight? All three of them. Just, yeah, I'm not sure whether it's going to like this. No, it's... I think it'd be quicker to get the telehandler, truthfully, so I'll do that off camera, but we can't leave it. Right, fertilizer. Yeah, I think, in fact, in fact, two birds, one stone. Telehandler's over there, let's go grab, let's grab a couple of fertilizers. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, I think four. So I'm not sure these are even full bags. I think these are rejected bags, which they could be randomly a little bit or a lot, so. Let's just grab a few. I think you can grab four on the big back handler. I'm sure it lets you do that. Which is quite amazing. And you, of course you can, well it's not cheating, you can also use a strap. So you could actually strap six or seven if you really wanted to. It's, uh, I did pick that up as well, yes. very rarely and uh, well no, I have used it on camera once I, I remember I just can't remember what I used it for on camera it was the only way we could do something ah you can't so you do have to do the straps as well I thought you could do it but you can't well oh. Smashing. Yeah, we should shift those lines off. Do this, get that field finished, and even if that was the session, it is that it is what it is. We've we've managed. I keep saying this about sessions. I I start a session as a, a job. We're doing a job, and I'd like to finish that job. If you pull other jobs in on top of that job, I'm quite happy. But yeah, that's why sometimes some of my sessions, like on Riverside, have been an hour and a half long, or Rombos equally, a, a two and a half hour session on Rombos, uh, which obviously time lapse is down to an hour, but it really was almost a three hour session because the field is humongous on that, that the one that we've just done, basically. So, right, let's stick this and we'll grab this now that is a point if we hold this above does it do what it should do if you're doing it like this I, th I think it does for the two bags that are properly done but I don't think it does for the two bags that aren't because it doesn't really realise what they are does it oh no no that isn't no it's the top two isn't it so yeah it is right doesn't realise the bottom two the what's happening. Oh, no, that is actually nothing to do with that. Mm, let's go a little bit more realistically. I don't know why that bag isn't responding. Oh, oh it is. It just wasn't quite in the right place. Well, there you go. You can. Fantastic. It looks a little bit strange, but then again, it's a bag suspended from a strap would look a little bit strange wouldn't it really I do like that feature I think it's fantastic right let's now we can send a worker with that can't we so let's do that first because that's still that course is active I think I'll just check the one thing I hate is you can't actually yeah, it is. Let's go first and go. And we will grab those bags off the field before we get clocked or before we have any growth. I don't know 
why they're all stopping like that. Ah, now that we, I do know, yeah, mods. Mods that are powerful have the ability to stop the air. The um, mobile utilities pack, they all do that. Yeah, there are terrors for it, they'll stop them dead. So it looks to me like that new mod also is has got that ability. Can't see it being anything else. Why are you not letting go? I did press A. Fantastic. Right, let's get this going. Now, do do we do that? Yeah, because we've not. It's not been a massive thing. We've got a bit of a um, bit of. I did notice. Oh. Uh, now that, that was very different. I, I, I wouldn't have expected you to do that. Why are you going the wrong way around? Why are you insisting that gravity is not part of the universe? That is very strange. Very strange indeed. Right, okay, well, problem solved. Weeding weeded. Liming limes. I, I thought we'd already nitrogen, so that you're wasting money. It's, I don't think it's even doing anything. We've already done that. It was only the liming. Yeah, she's just along for the ride. <laughs> and that's my fault. I did ask her to do it, so I take full responsibility. Yeah, this is already done, isn't it? I remember looking at the field. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So we get a nice bonus from crop rotation, which is good. It is nice when it works in your favour. But so far, it's usually hit me around the head. So yeah, I've got something I've got to pay more attention, which is why I thought it was a blink in the right direction to old seasons, very much uh, like we remember it in FS19, which is, in my opinion, it's a nod in the right direction. So I do miss. I know it was complicated. Oh dear! Oh, they'll all just build me out of the out of the way. Switch your engine off. We'll leave you here and we're going to dart off. Yeah, I think we are. We're going to do. I'm going to stop recording. We shall pop. I'm going to need that actually. I'm tempted to have this as a fertilizer. I was thinking about this um, yesterday at Rombos about having a dedicated. But if I'm going to use bags a lot. It makes sense that you've got a mobile platform that you can take into your fields. In which case, oh, I can see the red lights. Let's wait. I'm not going to do a naughty. Get crashed. Yeah, it makes sense. I think to have a, a trailer that's literally for your fertilizer. I think it is it storage. Really, I think that's not a bad idea. I was thinking how to handle that because I was thinking of storage, but I. I've used storage bins, but then it actually uses, it, you lose that super ability that bags have got of, of like the versatility of them. Because it's sometimes very useful to, where well, you can always eject as bags. But that ability that, you, especially the eight ton bags of lime, you lose that ability because you won't get them remade as an eight tonner. So that is quite a big thing. So I think we will, we'll have that as that and we'll keep that and we'll grab another bag. What size do we need? We can afford to do it now. Right, yeah, I've got so much up at the time. Of course I can. Right, so let's buy one now. And do we buy another uh, one of my favourite trailers or do we go for something else? It is. It's also exceptionally reasonable, but I love it the fact that it's such a good all-rounder for its price. I have had this one. It's too small. A lot of the others are as well. Now that's the one I believe. No, it's this low load of three A, isn't it? Actually, that's the one for the thing, isn't that Obviously, we uh, ours is very much more reasonable. Yeah. I, I, I seriously, yeah, the Dangreville I've had on a couple of Let's Ways, it's small. Even the Lizard 50, it's the only one that is really... Yeah, I've tried that platform. That's all right, again, for taking... Con um, yeah, exactly what we're trying to do. If you wanted it as a back for lugging stuff around, 
In fact, actually, that's not a bad idea, thinking about it. The 1313 pack with something like that on the back is an absolutely ideal and very reasonable thing. This is the, the 19 the 25 metres. These are monsters. The 25 metres, you need half a county to turn it around. And then the 90 metres is very large as well, but you could probably just about go with it. I'm not sure on an English map. I don't think that would be very useful, that. And, yeah usually don't have the cutter header thing and it's not got straps on the front so I used to tend to stick that just on the back which then it wastes a third of the trailer so all things considered I truly do think that the 50 footer definitely wins the prize are we gonna do yeah no we stick it exactly as was and we may swap them over I don't, I'm not gonna put anything we, yeah we're just gonna have it as a trailer we are gonna have the back though yeah, don't flat deck. I think I'm happy with ramps, but I do think we're going to go for a slightly longer. Oh, extras, that's the extensions, isn't it? Now, that is useful for making things. Oh, do we need it on this, though? If this is just for that, you know, we'd, I think we'll keep it standard. We'll go 40. And we shall buy that. Oh no, we are at the shop. That is right. Smashing. I thought I wasn't sure we'd whisk anything away. Right. So there we go. We have a new trailer. This one is for general purpose. On that. Well, actually, we're going to swap them over. So the other one really is going to be for general purpose, and this one is going to be for fertilizer. But for now, we use the fertilizer and lime off that one first. So we need to go and grab some stuff at this point now. How, uh, yeah, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do a bit of investigating because I have no idea how you can buy that type of product. There's got to be a way. Yeah, or perhaps you do have to buy them to create them yourself. Because you, you can't buy the, pro the products, can you? Anyway, I'm going to investigate, so I'm going to bring you back in when I know the answer to this question that you may already know yourselves, so I'm going to see you shortly. I thought at the back of my mind, I thought, I'm sure you can buy things directly, and of course you actually can, but it's not up to date in so much as you can buy the production pallets things here, but only a few, and very there's nothing from the platinum expansion. So I think the only thing we can buy that is we that we actually need is the boards, the short boards. I think is the only thing that we can actually buy. Everything from the platinum expansion we can't. So that means that we really have got to do exactly what. Yeah, boards, a pallet of boards, seven thousand eight hundred for two tons. That is it. That's the only thing we can actually buy. So everything else we've got to do ourselves. So it is as I originally said. I think what we're going to have to do is try and um, go mad on earning money. Uh, try and grab a million. I'm going to work out. No, maybe not a million. I might be going a little bit overboard. We've got to do the metal and all. And I think I can buy metal directly. I've got a feeling that I've seen that. So yeah, we'll also. Yeah, that is true. We've still got to buy the plant, though, which that is expensive to actually make the metal into what we need. So that's going to be a lot. And then you've got the long planks, the planks. The, so that's going to be... They're all about 100, 120 grand. Some are more. So it is going to mean we have got to go pedal to the metal. So we will not be able to do it just yet. Because, I, yeah, there's no way I can actually do this. Yes, I know I could whisk it in with the, the cheaty thing. But I'm not going to do that. It's it's not it's not fair if you do something like that. I mean, it is if you're going to produce a, a video to show people what you need to do. But it isn't if you're going to try to do it by fair means, not foul. So yeah, I remind myself what have we got on hand from last year. I think we were we did oats, didn't we? And we were going to produce flour and bread. I think. Let's have a look. What have we got in stock? Being as we. Yeah, let's look at everything. Yeah, I know we've got. We can convert that. The slurry, likewise, that is going to be tough. We'll, we'll do that each morning, I think, because that's going to be a really good business. So, a bit of straw which we bought in milk. 
Yeah, which we're going. Through. Yeah, so now we have, we've got rid of all of our produce. I thought we had. I think we did produce bread and sold it instantly, didn't we? If I remember rightly. So it has actually completely done things. So that is that is us at the minute. One hundred forty-one thousand nine hundred fifty-seven. Obviously, we're selling a bit of our wood as well. We'll sell that every couple of days, I think. And what are we? Aren't we selling? Weren't we producing? Furniture or something in the all-in-one fabric wall. Yeah, we were Furniture wood and furniture planks which is receiving the things and ah, not the planks Because that's from the wood place isn't it? So I think it can only produce wood can't it? I just put a couple of uh, tons of herbicide which I bought directly from it it's, it's not a bad price actually so we've got yeah outgoing products wood and wood chips where they're both storing so i've got 33 tons of wood and a ton and a half almost of wood chips yes yeah, still got plenty of manure and obviously lots of saplings because we li literally did go mad and spend a fortune on it to keep that business going so yeah we've done everything we can all of our fields are ready do we go through till next month? Because there's nothing we can do. Our animals are fed. Let's just check that everyone's happy. I'm sure we did that first thing. We did. They are completely filled. They are very happy. Yeah, absolutely excellent. So, I mean, we've done an awful lot. When you consider they that cost us a fortune to buy all of the um, animal enclosures, the fertilizer business costs a fortune. So, truthfully, we're on what Mr. CLP would say the cusp the turnaround where you're on the other side. I mean, we are going to invest obviously heavily in other productions for building boats and I'm trying to think, do we do the concentrate? I'd love to see the roller coaster. It would really be amazing. I just, just think that we've got to do this. So I think for once, as I say, no holes barred, literally any mod that makes money and I don't care. It, it's just to do it. Do we? No, no, that that is, I'm not doing that. That is cheating. I'm not near yeah, buying stone and going into the line producing mod. I've deliberately said I wasn't doing that type of thing and I, I agree I'm not. Right, okay, let's turn those off. Now we know we can't do it except by buying the uh, things as you have got to do or having them built. I think, do we? Did, uh, we might do the metal one. That, I think we may have that uh, close to ourselves if I'm honest. Right, let's go to sleep we have done all of our jobs and we are happy to say goodbye to this month I have switched the starting spring mod on otherwise right now we would not be able to save the game the mod says it's quite happy to stay on but it isn't it's wrong as we've proved we, we crash and burn going from February to March actually it was last month so but yeah we we got through that right time up to times one right let's get the animals done and but let's first of all see what is on in the sales now we've got a bigger one and yeah you're a tiny one oh it's a beautiful tractor it really is and it is definitely worth that without a shadow of a doubt but have we enough that's what i'm going to say the telly handy bring it back up here in fact we could be clever and hopefully try and tell him to one of the workers to go and pick it up is what I'm thinking Set there. Oh, now this is going to be awkward because yeah you've got to go the way that they're facing or they, have a, a, they, they can't rev go the other way but what we could do is be clever and cancel it now and then set destination ah, will it do that they don't like going the wrong you know that you've got to have a clear if they're in the way of a tractor and they're going to bash into it smashing oh train oh that's going to be close no we should do it Oh no, okay, the barriers are down. Fantastic. Okay, now we're gonna now we're gonna set your destination to 
I'm not sure it's going to like that. Let's set the destination to the shop. Almost all things like that and can cope with that. Right, let's get some grass and then hopefully the telehandle will soon be here and we will uh, get this lot taken down to... Oh, April! Yeah, of course. This is the very month that we're selling our clothes. My bad. Right, we need to go to the production and tell it to eject however much clothes we've got because this is the month that we sell clothes. I'm excited to see. Oh, nearly three. Uh, spawn. Brilliant. And I don't know you could do that, actually. We have two of these, I believe. Fantastic. Not as much as I'd like. I would have liked to upgrade that. Upgraded it. And I think we will for next year. Especially the one behind us. I think that has definitely made sense. That we upgrade that one. Super duperly. Yeah, so we don't have to use the one at the bottom for that. And we, may, we may upgrade that one as well. To at least level 2. So that's like 50 odd grand for the 2, really. Right, this is Grass. Fantastic. This means that we can uh, look the wall and we'll get all the stuff done. I think we're going to time lapse this because I'm either going to show you and time lapse it or I'm not going to show you. I, and if you prefer not to be shown, and yeah, leave me a couple of comments because this is another one of those things. I always drag you through all of this because it is part of the farming, but. If you see me do this every single day and it takes half an hour, that is... I mean, I know it is part of farming. It truthfully is. Now it's... Yeah, that's top, top. And then we'll fill the other one. It shouldn't, shouldn't be too much. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I really would like to know that. I, I go inwardly debate with myself in most sessions about, well, do I do I show you everything, or do I show you this, or what? Yeah, what what is what is the right approach? Is what I'm asking. And I will willingly do what the majority say is a good idea. Right, tally handler. Where did where did I? Did I actually send you? I'm trying to look on the map. Ah, down at the bottom, I think. Are you? Ah, I'm looking for that. Okay. Oh, did, did I put it on the field? Do you know? Shop. Of course it was the shop. <laughs> Terrible. Right. Let's grab that. Let's grab the wall. And yeah, I'm going to go into a time lapse because it's a lot quicker for yourselves. So I'm going to say my words. I'm going to get all these jobs and all the animals started and, and, and fit, you know fed and watered and all that needs doing the dairy with the milk, all that type of stuff. So I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Right, I think I'm going to leave it there. That was quite a long session. Yeah, we should get quite a bit from the um, the newer business. I can't remember if we're selling it. We'll have a quick look before we scoot off. But that was a, that was a win. It was. That was exactly why. Obviously, we've got quite a lot of wool. And now I noticed that was the, the wool that we got today from both was quite astronomical. That was sort of that wool, 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 wool. Well, was across before you even start to put your foot on it. It's quite bad. It is. I know I've made a bit of a pass through, but yeah, did not drop the curve for me. <laughs> it's true, it's a bit. Uh... Right, let's have a look then. Productions, are we doing that on selling? Everything's growing nice, I noticed, including the sugar cane. I was going to say beet then. Right, so. That was a fantastic price as well, well over what it should have been, so we got a really good sort of thing from that. So now, what, I hate that I confused myself. Right, productions, I believe, is what we're looking at. Yeah, are we still selling? Yeah, we are. So the solid fertilizer should sell from that, and it should also sell from the other one, the manure. Likewise, convert into yeah. There's quite a lot in there actually, so that's definitely uh, yeah. Our mini BGA is obviously not actually doing anything at the minute. Nothing's being fed. That's churning nicely. We've got up to 68 tons of wood. I think with us having the wood side of the business, I think we're going to invest and actually have bought built um, the wood side of the business. I think, and also the metal and everything else will buy in situ and go to deliver uh, products to it. But we definitely shall, yeah, we've got a ramp up. I mean, that's not a bad little earner in one thing. And I say, we're going to, in fact, let's speed up time till nine o'clock and see what we get from those. I don't mind doing that because we really should get. Quite a bit at the tick of the clock. We should from all those, and obviously I'm not sure if that's going to be done everything. Yeah, well that's more like it. Let's just see what we've got left. Oh, I should stop clacking my keyboard. Yeah, a lot of times you hear hear me do that in the. Uh, well, no, we're not selling the wood, are we? Are we? No, we're storing. I've got two tons of, of furniture. So let's have a look see how much furniture is. It's a very slow business. Again, we'll I think we'll ramp that up as well. The pair of them, because it'll do that as well, won't it? As well as the clothes. So let's have a look at the price of furniture. I don't think it'll be that far away. No, not, not terribly good, is it really? No, 3931. So it's one of those products you could pretty much sell whenever. And you're gonna get three grandish, basically, including from the side everything container. So, yeah, we could run that over there. It's a shame. I thought that'd be worth more than that furniture, but yeah, when you consider the things that you can buy on this, the wood products are worth a fortune. I remember uh, seeing a video about it. What the best products to uh, in the platinum expansion are some of these things that we're going to be making. I think. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll do an entire session based upon that kind of thing going over things but that is quite phenomenal I'd imagine we've still got some more um, let's have a quick look I don't know that we sold everything we may have done that was a, a, a meaty whack no I didn't why is that not oh, it's not on sale any Wally right let's let's do that I would like to I really would like to know where we Stand on this. That one was on sale, and we saw it. Yeah, so that is sold. Let's take this till ten o'clock. And I know we've got the grass to cut, so that's why I'm not going to whiz through. Just want to see what we get because obviously money is very important on this one, and to, to do it as well as we possibly can. That that was a really good. When you consider we're on 140, 435,791 at the end of this session that is fantastic so I think we're going to start to buy some of these productions for the now I'm going to look look for the ones that yeah I, I know the metal one is expensive and we've got to go up to the mountain and get the metal out we may have to do that um, soon because I think you have to 
form a pile of it so that's something we've got to pay attention to otherwise we're not going to be able to draw enough metal out to make the, the uh, bits and bobs that we need we'll cut the grass next session and whilst our workers are cutting the grass do we buy that other field because the grass is also going to bring in income as well even though it, it, we've got to still I think invest in the proper field two I'm not sure about field one I always was a little bit I know this is the expensive one as in yeah in comparison to that's a lot less because we're buying a lot of stuff so we will buy that and we will cut 27 and 42 Ah, do I invest in something that's going to help us? We've got the little mower so far, haven't we? Now, I found a mod that is super duper duper. But I am trying. Yeah, it is true. I I've got it. Even if it takes me a little longer, and we've got to like send the mowers across the roads to cut field two, we will do that. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I'm worried about these little ones. Not that it's, the grass is not there, but because they are little and it's going to be its speed is of the essence as well so we've got to expedite and make out all oh, right we have oh no we did spray it didn't we it's just the edges i was going to say i did see it said weeds but i thought i'd sprayed it yeah so we should get this done and our new fields too our empire is growing yeah that is that is not bad so when you consider how long we have been on the map i believe it's, this is a sec uh, forestry yeah years played too we're in our second year that's not bad it really isn't yeah actually yeah well, this is no it is the start of our second year we started in march so literally we started in spring mod and we started in march so we're just literally one month into our second year so that is amazing yeah so we're going to cut the grass we're going to take our little mowing machines our specialist mowing machines we're going to cut this one and then we're going to send them across the road to cut number two and then we're going to i think we're going to try that other the new one yeah the uh what's it called let's have a look that's that's not yeah it is this here and it is underbelt systems which is rather yeah the forage pickup which pretty much picks up any materials and loads it into your trailer so this i think is going to figure in quite a few let's plays this is almost the milling machine in fact it probably is the milling machine which i've been waiting for for a long time it is amazing so yes i'm, I'm quite sure i think it's if you buy it brand new it's it is quite expensive uh, i'm sure it is it's not like the the old milling machine was also cheap as ch cheap as well uh, but i mean yeah this is fs22 so belt system b i believe we are looking for and it's there b e right so yeah sixty five thousand and still i'm not saying that's expensive i'm just saying yeah it is uh, when you consider the other kind of uh, the conveyor which i think is absolutely amazing and it is. I think that's a smashing value. It's so large as well. But yeah, that is also versatile. That could be used in clamps and things like that. So that is really is fantastic. It is. I love those vintage Orca pack. They are also brilliant and so reasonable. A bit faffy, but then that's what you expect if you're trying to cut a corner. Anyway, yeah, fantastic results. 303,350 and we have bought another field and we've sold our clothes and we're still up at 303,000 yeah so we've got our silo now as well yeah uh, that's jiggery poker we got rid of the slurry yard because it doesn't fit our model anymore and the BGA is definitely yeah not performing as well as it ought but we're still gonna do that business yeah we have still got that as well it does still bring tick up I don't know what it is what happens on the Giants map though why it's a bit knobbled but it, it is so yeah we'll we'll uh we'll crack on anyway that's a point that would be useful as a front loader do we need another tractor i think i was on about this and i think i'm right if anything it's more like a mid-range i mean this this is a we bought this beast and did we upgrade it let's have a look i can't remember actually whether we did i have a feeling we did and then again I'm not sure no it's the base 360 horsepower that can be that really is the sort of horsepower requirements that we've got I suppose the two the Robo 6 would be useful 225 it's about the same as the other one but that's my point if anything I'd like to 
augment what we've got rather than um, have something to say. It is a cracking deal, don't get me wrong, it really is amazing and it is definitely, for 69,000 it is fantastic. Yeah, and it is the 190 horsepower, and you you can have a front loader attacher. That's what I was thinking as well. Although, do we need that? We have got yeah, it's true. It, it is. I, I think that's what good as is. We've got that the uh, power for going on to the other one when we need it to convert it. So, if the front loader is needed on that, we'll do that. But that is where I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I'm quite chuffed with our progress. Yeah, um, any comments, please by all means. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to hear from you all, I truly would. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this journey. And yeah, goodbye for now. <laughs>